United States Senate as the Libertarian candidate here in New Hampshire. Why am I running? Because of each and every one of you. The people who come out on short notice to see third party candidates because they care about change. The people who are fed up with the two party system that doesn't cater to the interests of the American people, but to the corporate backers of the party establishment. These are things that need to change. That's why my campaign slogan is a new voice for New Hampshire. Now, the fundamental basis of my campaign has been the reality that all politics is local. Uh, Andrew Olding, who's running for Congress in the 2nd District, lives in Nashua. He has a great story he'd tell if he would be able to make it here about this time that he gathered a bunch of libertarians in Nashua to put pressure on City Hall to stop a bad law from going into effect. And 10 libertarians from Nashua managed to make an actual positive impact by being engaged, being active, and doing what they thought was right. Now, by running for U.S. Senate, I'm running a ballot access race. If we get 4%, the Libertarian Party becomes a major party in New Hampshire again. And what does that do? That gives us a seat in this building. That gives us a seat in this state house where our voices have weight and merit in debate and in committees and on testimony, where we don't just go and testify as a New Hampshire citizen. We go and testify as, I'm the guy who's gonna take you down in your next election because I'll spoil the vote if you guys harm our liberty. And that's the message that has weight in this building. That's the message that has weight in New Hampshire. We are the live for your die state. On regular basis, I've heard people testifying against bills in this building whose entire testimony is, read the damn license plate. Live free or die. Because that's the mentality we embody here. New Hampshire ranks highest in the country for freedom. Lowest in crime and unhappiness. Those two are not distinct and they go to hand in hand together. Now, we have an uphill battle. We're fighting an establishment, Gene Shaheen, who has $17 million in the bank. Corky Mesner, who was moved here from Colorado by Donald Trump's campaign to be the MAGA candidate, knowing nothing about New Hampshire values. But we can do this by speaking to people on issues they care about. We reach out to libertarians to get them active in their communities, to spread the word to everyone in New Hampshire that we stand for criminal justice reform. We stand for police accountability. We stand for ending the failed war on drugs. And we stand for bringing our troops home and stopping the wasteful expenditure of trillions of dollars on failed nation building experiments across the globe that have done nothing but make things worse. Now, voting for me for US Senate might seem like a long shot, but every vote matters because when you vote third party, you send your voice as a coalition of voters to show the establishment that people are unhappy. That win or lose the election by coming together and using our voices to vote, not just for me, but for Joe and Spike for president, for Andrew Olding for Congress in the second district, and Zach Dumont in the first district. If there's a libertarian for state rep in your district, it sends that message that you're unhappy with the status quo. You're unhappy with the way things are. And you, as a voter, are willing to take that stand to fight against everything wrong with the American political system. And I am proud to stand here today with Spike Cohen, one of our best vice presidential candidates we've had in the Libertarian Party. And I am proud to have my name on the ballot with him and Joe Jorgensen and all the other Libertarians running here in New Hampshire. And I am proud to get the chance to represent each and every one of you in that ballot to be an option for you to express your discontent with the status quo and the system that has stripped your rights away, that has continuously ignored the will of the American people to be free and to be a voice that embodies everything we want to see changed. We can 
not just hold the police accountable, but in order to hold that system accountable, we need to hold this system accountable. Right. We need to hold accountable the people who have been in office for 60 plus years. The people who have been in office for less than five. Because when they get there as part of the establishment and part of the two-party system, they don't represent you. They represent the corporate interests that tell them how to vote. Now, if you want to learn more about me, my campaign, my issues, uh, beyond the obvious and what I've talked about, you can visit O'Donnell2020.com. We have an issues page. You can sign up to volunteer, help us. We have yard signs. If you'd like to take some help, put them out, spread the word about the options. That'd be amazing. Tomorrow, September 30th, is the FEC quarterly fundraising deadline. So any federal candidate, myself and Joe and Spike, these numbers that we report tomorrow are what we're going to be judged by. It's what the media is going to report on us. So one of the most immediate ways you can help have an impact in my campaign, or Joe and Spike's campaign, is to go online and hit that donate button. Because all of our campaigns are fueled by small donors, not corporate interests. What's more important than the total number of do uh, dollars is the total number of donors. Because it shows that people care about change. And you are those people. And the reason we're doing this isn't for our own egos or our own careers. Everybody I know running for office as a libertarian has sunk thousands of dollars of their own money into it because they believe in what we're fighting for. And the only reason we can continue to fight is because people like you who are willing to come out and hear us talk and help us believe in what we're doing. And most importantly, I want to thank each and every one of you for that. So before letting Richard introduce the next speaker, I want you to give yourselves a round of applause for standing for what matters.